AgroSuede and welcome everyone to AgroSuede Back in Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. I hope that you guys are excited to see me as much as I'm excited to do this video. Of course, Happy New Year 2019 to all subscribers and followers of AgroSuede Back in Garden. You guys must have missed me and I surely miss doing these videos. Of course, for the year 2018, it was a very very busy year for me and I was not able to do too much of the backyard garden and also the video production for Agrosuit Backyard Garden. However 2019 started off with a, a difference where I took on a new employment opportunity which will give me more time and ability of course to um, give myself more time in the backyard garden. So what I was planning to do is do an introduction of Agrosuit Backyard Garden, what I would like to accomplish and possibly something in the video to do in regards to a special seat pack that I received. But I would have to postpone that for next weekend because what I'm going to do right now, I've got a subscriber and follower by the name of Bernadette who's been asking questions with regards to the pepper and in regards to pruning the pepper and what to do and how to do it and when. So in this video feature, I'm going to actually show her and show you guys, of course, how to prune and what date you should prune your pepper and how the moon can affect your pepper or any plant when you prune it. Of course, today is the 13th, Sunday the 13th of January and in 7 days time, 7 to 8 days time, it will be full moon and if you did not know, 7 days before full moon is when above ground development is taking place, even cutting your hair. When the moon goes up, it's pulling things upward. You will see an upward growth in your plant's foliage, of course, and if you decide to prune your plant full moon or the evening of full moon, seven days from full moon, that is when root development is taking place or that is when the plant below ground is developing, okay? So what will happen if you prune your plant seven days prior to full moon oh sorry to have this knife in my hand <laughs> if you prune your plants seven days prior to full moon you'll see a lot of leaves growing out from your plants if you prune it on the night of full moon seven days from full moon a lot of root development to take place which you might not witness but you will actually see that your plant is taking a lot longer to send out new leaves that's because the plant is focused on the ground so what i'm gonna do luckily i've got peppers here two peppers here growing in a pot and i'm going to prune one right now so because it's seven days before full moon so that it will send out a lot of leaves and of course i'll prune one the night or the evening of full moon which is like next weekend um so that you guys can see the effect of course in doing this video i will show you how to do it now but i will do a follow-up video february next month around this time to show you the difference okay so what we're gonna do i'm gonna prune one pepper right now and it's not gonna be this one because this one have a lot of fruits on it a lot of peppers on there so this is the one I'll be pruning on the evening of full moon so that it will stay as is basically it will stay short and I'm going to prune this one right now it have almost no peppers on there this one right now as you can see there are no peppers so I'm gonna prune this one right now so that it could send out a lot more branches and leaves so that my friend Bernadette could actually witness it as I need to release this video today so that she can see how it needs to be done because I think she'll still be within the seven days prior to full moon okay so I'm just gonna give you guys a closer view thank you so very much let's go ahead okay guys I know it might be a bit difficult to see because of the time of day but please try your best to focus on this area right here now this is the plant which I'll be pruning um, next weekend this plant as you can see right here I'm gonna try to bend it for you guys to see it don't have a lot of leaves now what I'm going to do right now I'm just gonna cut it as I explained to Bernadette cut the plant halfway through so you would have to judge, you could measure literally for ruler or measuring tape, but you could judge based on the plant length what point you should cut it. I like to cut it halfway. Now what's going to happen here, as you can see there are two main branches right now. I could cut it right here and there will be new branches coming up from these areas right here. At every knot there will be a new branch coming out. But what I would like to do, I would like to cut it in a Y shape. So as you can see right now, it's got two main branches. So I'm just going to cut it. Not at this point where it's joining, where like the Y, but I'm going to cut it between these two knots. So I'm just going to cut it here. So there's a knot here so that I could see new branches coming out from this Y. So I'm just going to cut it here. By the way guys, I will soon be doing a promo GoFundMe. Um, because after Hurricane Maria, um, though I did not directly lose crops in terms of crops with food, that I could claim for in this agricultural funds they had going on but I did lose a lot of my tools not directly to do with the hurricane but it was the result of the hurricane because of the fact that we got the hurricane most of my tools got exposed to weathering and they basically got rusty and stuff like that and I had to throw it away I had to throw some gloves away I did not realize that my stuff had actually 
directly gotten affected by the hurricane indirectly gotten affected by the hurricane so because of the hurricane i was not able to actually be in the garden because last year i was very busy took up a new project where i was doing a bit of customer service training so all of this is the result of maria it caused me to do all of this which you know caused me to stray away from the whole idea of the backyard garden so i was not able to directly claim for the project they had going on they had a project for after maria where it was assisting farmers but i did not feel um I should actually apply because I did not directly lose from Maria in terms of the backyard garden. However, indirectly, um, I lost quite a few of my tools through rust and weathering because of the effect of um, Maria. I don't know if that makes sense. Nonetheless, I just decided I'm just going to try to do a GoFundMe so that we could try to raise funds so I could start to buy more tools because as you can see, that is basically why I have to do the pruning. I don't have a pruning machine. Um, pruning tool i don't have cutlass i have an old cutlass most of the things i have to try to buy back um and i also want to build a special area to put it in case we get a hurricane again so that will not happen again okay so um pretty soon i'll be promoting it as long as i can get it going um, i will let you guys know as i was saying um oh here it is breaking already try your best to cut it between the knots so you could leave it there cut it here okay just gonna break this off right so as you can see here, I'm not sure if you can see, but here's a knot and here's also a knot. So I'm just going to do the same thing to this plant right here between the connection of the Y. Here's also a knot. So I'm just going to cut it above the knot here. Okay, so this is what we've done. This is what we remain, basically a Y shaped stick. Now as I advise you, um, it will send on new branches. Um, I will give you an update. It will send on new branches here, 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 here. Everywhere there was a leaf. Any part of your plant, once, once there is a leaf coming out from it, there is a chance that a branch will also shoot out at that point. That is the weakest point or the point where it will send out a new branch. Okay. So this plant right here will send out leaves. I will give you an update possibly as time is going along. I will try to take a picture every three days so that I could put it in the next updated video. Now this one of course I will prune next weekend. Um, most, most likely I will not really need to do a video on pruning this one but I will just to show you guys and maybe add it onto the updating um, video. Once you prune the, a plant, um, the night of full moon, you hardly see if there's any effect. It will just stay short, okay? If I prune this on the night of full moon, that would be almost like a terrible idea. Um, it will send out a lot of, um, sorry, it will have a few leaves. So basically it will just get very bushy, you know what I mean? But because I pruned it, it's going to send out new branches early. Now what I would have to do also... When it's not a lot more branches, that means it's going to be like this, very, um, you know, like I have a lot of sticks or new branches. I would have to prune it the evening of full moon, possibly in March, so it will stay nice and green in this area here, rather than growing tall, okay? So it will grow tall, because I pruned it seven days before full moon, but on the night of full moon, somewhere in March, I'm just going to prune it so it can stay short, okay? So guys, this is how easy it is to prune your plant, so that it could send out new leaves, especially if you have a plant which looks like it's dead, but yet again, it's look like it's actually surviving. You should prune it seven days prior to full moon, so it could send out a lot more leaves for you. Um, so that you can manage it of course thank you so very much Bernadette for these questions I am very happy that I am able to do this video so that you guys could see and especially you Bernadette so that you can understand how it needs to be done okay don't forget of course subscribe to Argus with Backyard Garden if there's anything you would like me to plant any new ideas please feel free to leave a comment below I'll be more than happy to go ahead and respond to your comment and also to assist in whatever way I can to teach you guys how to do a Backyard Garden because remember a Backyard Garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and Argus way it is out.